What's up guys, this is episode 29 of the FIFA 22 create a player career mode with Conrad Zahn and we are on 49 goals in 42 games. I can't remember what the, uh, what, like, I can't remember how many goals he scored last season, but we got a makeover, well not really a makeover, his bears grew out finally because he's 20 and he got new boots, new Nike boots and then uh, that's pretty much all that changed in his appearance. We have 181 goals. Last episode, we had 173 at the beginning, I think. So we just go with eight goals. That is that is okay for the amount of matches that we played. But still, I mean, his stats are still really amazing when he's just 20 years old. All right, the first match of the game is against Watford. Liverpool is currently winning 1-0 thanks to Victor Simeon. I don't know if his name is Victor Simeon or not, but I'm just going to jump to results. I'm not going to be playing this match. Are we going to be able to score here? And we do not money gets the brace right after we come in. All right, so when it comes to international friendlies, I'm not really all that interested in playing them. It's only like the actual competitive matches that I'll be interested in playing. And we missed a penalty there. Kimmich scored a brace in this match. We win 2-1 against Iceland. And then the match against Scotland, what are we going to be able to do in this match? 2-2, did we get the goal? No, we did not get the goal. That, that sucks, but I mean, I really don't care about these matches. Alright, so next up is the match against Leeds. I'm not going to be playing this one either because I actually really want to get like halfway done with this uh, season by the end of this episode. And I have no idea why we're not scoring. So I think I'm just going to have to play the next match just so that we can score. We're actually going all the way down. I think we're going to have to train to get our to get our manager rating back up. All right, so his match against Everton is currently nil nil, and we're replacing Victor Simon centre forward position. All right, so we're supposed to get a match rating of six point five, a dribble success rate of thirty percent. This is obviously what I'm enhancing. I was supposed to get a, like two shots on target, so I'm going to be enhancing this one in the middle, and I will talk to you guys after the match. Andre Kramaric. Kramaric. Well, that's a well timed pass. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And blocked for now. And he's broken free. Can he find the net? And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Corner kick played in. I couldn't get it past that first defender. Now, what can they do from here? And nicely struck. Oh, a goal! There it is! And the crowd stunned into silence. Well, here it is again. And just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range against them they have work to do now can they counter clinically might be a chance here the net is staring him in the face oh yes it's gone in and now a chance for them to revel in the moment well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive And that is all for this game anyway. All right, so that was a good match. We were able to get a goal and an assist and we brought the win to Liverpool. So that's yet another goal added to the magnificent scoring form that we're on in this season. I mean, every other season since we started this career mode. I mean, it's the Merseyside Derby, it's the Merseyside Derby as well. And or I guess that's just more cause for victory, for more cause for celebration, you know. And our manager rating has gone up to the starting 11. That's right. I didn't want to do any training sessions for the team itself. I wanted us to actually like work and grow and drop by ourselves without using the training drills because, you know, time and all that. And it's actually better if we're coming in as a sub. And sometimes it's better if we start and like get subbed off at the halftime mark or something like that. And next up is the match against Liverpool. This is going to be a really, really important match for us. And we definitely have to clear this one in our own home. 
Okay, the match objectives for this match is an 8.5 rating. Avoid losing the match and get at least one goal or assist. I'm going to be as enhancing that one in the middle. Avoid losing the match because that's the easiest one to enhance and all. And uh, I'll talk to you guys after the match. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to smash that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And that was that was a rather unexpected pass. I didn't think I was going to nail it, but I did. <laughs> Anyways. I'll throw it again after this match. And that for promising a looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Werner. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top class goal. Body in the way. No possibilities in the centre. Promising move. Can he find the net? And getting across to stop it. On to Werner. An encouraging move from Barca. A real opening now. And it's in. A goal for Barcelona. They are the team in charge. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the chip requires such good technique. That's a brilliant bit of skill. What a goal. This juncture. Can someone get on the end of this? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Counter-attacking very much an option. Can he get them level? Oh, there it is! Unbelievable stuff from two down. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no chance. Zan, good vision. Can he get onto this? Promising sequence. To Stegen with a great save. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. All right, so this is where I'll be coming out of the match. We have done well. We came back from 2-0 down to 2-2. And Javier Lotti is the one that's coming in for us. We got six shots on Saturday. Our conversion rate is shit, as usual. <laughs> but, I mean, I, th I think we did really well. Our match rating is 10 on the dots. And, well, that is another man of the match there. But we're not, like, finishing the match. So that doesn't matter at all. And it's all green. We actually... Oh, I actually look at what we got. I think it was 2 2 since we are down. Either this or they beat us. I'm not exactly sure. But we got all of the manager's objectives, and that is actually pretty good, I guess. All right, the next match is this one against Southampton. I'm not going to be playing it. Rather, I'm going to be sending past it to the Barcelona match so that my player can rest so that we can do as, as good as we can in this match. We still aren't fully fit which means that we might not be able to play the full match but let's just see what we can do hopefully hopefully we can actually defend well and give our best van dyke was in the team the last match apparently he's not in the team this time i don't know why but i mean i definitely handed his ass to him and i just realized that salah is not in this team anymore that is so weird because why the hell is <laughs> he he probably left because he couldn't handle the greatness of conrad Zander. But anyway, it's actually pretty sad that Salah is no, more, no longer in the team. And it's actually even sadder that I did not notice that he had gone. I just realized that there was no Salah to be given the ball to or no Salah to be given me assists. Because I think he actually gave me the most assists, if I am not wrong. But either way, let's look at the objectives that we have for this match. We're supposed to get a match rating of 8.5, avoid losing the match, and get at least one goal or assist. It's the exact same thing as last match. 
and let's just see if we can actually get to win in this match we most definitely will not be playing the full match because our player is not, is not even going to oops our player is not even going to make it to the end of this match but let's just hope that we can actually get the best result out of this match we were the winning side with Dortmund last season and in this season we want to try our best to win the Europa League and that's actually true why the hell is Barcelona in this team and that was a very good assist from us that was a very very good assist for us and who is, it? Who is that Curtis Jones not quite sure yeah exactly that's Curtis Jones he's the one that popped in the goal and that's a very good start away from our home in Barcelona Stadium <sighs> we're on Zan. Will it happen for them? Opportunity it is. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Werner. Big chance. There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. To being cow. An effective challenge. A terrific pass. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Now, they will make the personnel change. It's a short one. Opportunity here. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. It was such a good effort. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Dembele must score. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Well, visionary passing. He's managed to get in behind. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's oh, big chance. Well, it's great when you can rely on that for Dembele. Werner. Ronaldo. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he's still hit. And that I don't even want to talk about it. This match was just very, very fucked up. We tried our best in the first fucking half and in the second half, this guy is just completely switched off. He just fucking switched off and we can't do anything about it because we're at the fucking front and these guys are just playing fucking nonsense at the back. How the fuck do you even let that happen? <sighs> Shit. That was a lot of swearing in just 10 seconds, but okay. So that wasn't supposed to happen, but it happened and we're moving on to our next match. We are very low on stamina, but so we're just going to sim the match because there really isn't any point playing it and we actually we actually fucking lose to Leicester City. What the fuck is going on okay we are three points ahead of chelsea still we're still on this particular run and we keep on losing and winning the same matches and and we're just really really lucky that chelsea hasn't gone past us already uh it's just five matches left to play in the league and i'm going to play like a few of those in the next episode i'm going to play this one because i really have no idea why the fuck liverpool decides that they want to be playing shit at the fucking end of the season but there's really nothing we can do about it there's really absolutely nothing we can do about it because we're a striker we have to play for the team and play our best even though the team is playing shit at the back i am so i am so frustrated last episode i was really frustrated with this team and they are doing they're doing it again the only difference between this team and se braga is, be, is that they're a better team and we're actually winning games sometimes but 
<clears throat> so annoying. We're supposed to get okay. Which one am I uh, enhancing? I'm not enhancing any really. Just do this one in the middle. Uh, what minute is it? It's uh, okay. I can't see. Uh, it's the 50, is it 68 minutes? And I need this guy to just run in front of me, please, so I can give him this ball and you can fire it home. Thank you. Jesus. Huh, finally, 2 0. I have no idea who the fuck that is, but I mean, that was a really, really good, good, good shot, actually. So, anyways, I'll talk to you guys after this match. When I play just one match before I end this episode, or am I actually just go all the way to the end i don't know which one is better but i'll i'll figure it on the fly i have time i have time so let's see how well this is going to go so two nil now and he's in and he's kept it out Fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Short corner favour. There it is! The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Let's take another look because it's a well worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Enzo Lefay. McGinn. Chance to play it in. And firing it to the near post. And a header goal it is. Right on cue. Textbook interception. Beating his opponent with ease. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Substitution time it is. Well, nearly at full time, not quite. And it's all going Liverpool's way, Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just... Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. He's managed to get in behind. And there goes the final Are you for whistle. real? I was about to get my fucking second goal there. <sighs> well, it was a good match. We did win 4-1 at home against... Who the fuck was the club again? Uh... I can't remember. Yeah, Fulham. And yeah, we got a 10 point zero match rating, which means we definitely got the man of the match. And it was a very good match. We still didn't get all the way to the starting 11, but that's okay because I really don't care that much because I just want to progress through these matches as fast as possible. And we're already in the month of May, actually, which means that there's just four matches left, which means that we can actually. We can actually play all of these. We are at 55 goals this season, and that is really, really crazy. I think he has gotten more than Zaid now, because Zaid's like uh, record is 53 goals in a season, and Conrad that definitely just demolished that. I don't think he has gotten up to 55 goals in a season before. I'm definitely going to check, but if he hasn't, that's going to be actually really cool because it's just really good that we're already this good at 20. This match against Barnsley, we're not going to be playing it. We're just going to same pass it, even though we're coming in as a sub. We're already leading 2-0, so there's no way that we're supposed to lose this match. Goretzka got the goal at the end. Then as for this match, I would have loved to play from the beginning, but we can't actually do that because we do not have a training session ready and we are not at the starting 11 part of the manager ratings. But nonetheless, I don't really care. Let's just see what we can do with this match. We're coming in at the 55th minute for Osimhen. I don't know if he's Victor Osimhen or something, but 
I, re I don't really care. Pedro missed the penalty. That is that is bad. So we have to come on and fuck these guys up real bad. All right, we're about to enter into the match right now. Where we're supposed to get a 7.0 match rating, complete five passes, and get an assist on goal. But I'm going to enhance this one to seven. And I mean, we really don't care about these things anymore. But let's see if we can find him. Nah. Our passing is not that good. <laughs> Anyways, I think we might actually just finish the season on this episode. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys after this match. And space here on the flank. It's there for him. And a fantastic diving save. Well, they haven't created too much. Giving the ball away. to the advanced position Alexander Arnold able to get a body in the way now defenders having to cover up now the electronic board showing one additional minute could be threatening oh a goal and is that going to be the one that wins it for them there's every chance and the fans are lapping this up Well, as you can see, he gets a touch on this, but it's not quite enough to stop the goal. It was a good effort, though. And there goes... All right, if I tell you that I know how that goal was scored just now, I will tell you I have no idea how the fuck that has happened. Because I gave that ball to Barilla to shoot. I don't know why he passed to Mane, and that was just the fucking tightest of angles and it was just the dumbest of decisions but i'm just really happy that it was able to come through and we do get the win against spurs in our home stadium we get that 7.0 match rating that the manager asked for so i think we are good in this match next up is next up is the match against brentford we're going to be in the starting 11 but we're not going to be playing this match we're going to sim past it and let's see if we're going to be able to get a goal fingers crossed and we're the ones that actually got the goal that gave us the win and and the last match of the season is against Chelsea. We are eight points clear of them. So if they do win this match, it has absolutely no effect. We're still going to be lifting that trophy at Anfield at the end of this match and, and at the end of this video. So <sighs> I think this is going to be the second time we're winning a, a uh, league trophy. The first was the Dortmund in that year that we won the, I think it was last year that we won the Champions League as well. This year, we're not getting any European trophies, but we are indeed getting the Premier League trophy. I mean, it's already official, but this night, or rather, this uh, match is just the one where we are going to lift the trophy, regardless of the result. And that is just a really, really, really great thing. All right, so we're supposed to get an 8.5 match rating, take three shots on target, and avoid losing the match. This is the one that we are going to be enhancing here. And we're going to let this run through. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button. And I'll talk to you guys after this match. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free as well. So, you know, just click that button. Do not forget to subscribe. Yada, yada, yada. And, you know, I'll talk to you guys after the match. To the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now. But hopefully not before they give us a good game today. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. 
And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Hakim Ziyech plays with Christian Pulisic out wide. And operating an attack today is Romelu Lukaku. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. Well, they've started the game really brightly, and that was so close to taking the lead. He's got to have a go here. Well, good clean catch by the goal. Can they forge ahead? Great defending here. And he's gone and scores here. Romelu Lukaku. It's the first goal of this match. Well, here's the replay, and when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Well, as Liverpool get the ball moving again, how will they react? Moving the ball forward with purpose. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Keeper. Move from the keeper, and they'll come again. Big chance! In it goes! And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper is wishing quite simply he hadn't done that. Well, as you can see, he's made a real mess of that. What was he doing? That's a poor mistake, and it's cost them a goal. And from what I'm hearing, there's been a goal in the Leeds match. Over to Alex for the details. It's another for Leeds United. Can they nudge in front? And there is the goal! He's found the net, joy unconfined. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So, making the substitution now. Corner kick played in. Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea, who've got themselves on level terms. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And there's the final whistle. In a way, this game had an academic quality about it. Everyone here, including the players, just waiting for the moment when they can celebrate their accomplishments. And yep, that is the second league title that we are winning as Konrad Zahn. We started at Dortmund, we went to AC Braga, we couldn't win it with Dortmund. We couldn't win it with Burnley as well because of the injury that we sustained. I mean, even though we weren't going to win it either way, but we went back to Dortmund, we were able to win it, and then we were in Liverpool, we won it. <laughs> and this is the second major trophy, third major trophy that we have won in this team. And to be honest, I, I am really happy. There's no point looking at the scenes because I mean we already know it's the same thing and it's getting boring and old. But here, yeah, this is the end of the episode. This is also going to be the end of me doing the the series like this. I'm going to be uh, how will I put it? Like I think I already said it in one of the one of the previous episodes. Like I'm going to be doing like episodes that are per season, but I'm not going to be doing all this stuff where I'll be talking on stuff. It's going to be just all the goals that Conrad Zahn scores in that season. So if he scores like 55 like he, or rather 57 like he did in this season, then they're going to see 57 different goals that he scored. So yeah, that's basically how it's going to be. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget my name is ZME now. It's no longer Godzilla. It's now ZME because those are my initials. And... We are on the road to 1,000, so subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.